Hmm. This problem is solving for m. You have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m equal to 65. Now, we have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m equal to 65. Now, for us to solve this, we need to make this a square. So, for us to do that, now, you know you have 3 to the power of m. You can say 3 to the power of m brackets open times 1 minus 2 to the power of m bracket open and close times 1 raised to, power, to the power of 1 equal to 65. Now, you know 1 is the same thing as 2 divided by 2. So now substituting 2 divided by 2 into this, you have because 2 divided by 2 give you 1. So now substitute 2 divided by 2 into this, you have 3 to the power of m bracket open bracket close all to the power of 2 divided by 2 minus bracket open 2 to the power of m bracket close raised to power 2 divided by 2 equal to 65 now you know you have 3 to the power of m brackets open 3 to the power of m bracket close 2 to the power of 2 minus brackets open 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 to the power of 2 and 2 times 2 to the power of m 2 to the power of m bracket close raised to power 2 to the 2 over 2 which is equal to 65 now 2 divided by 2 is the same thing as 2 times 1 all over 2 now so replacing this this value with this in these expressions so now you now have 3 bracket open 3 to the power of m bracket close a half times 2 minus 2 to the power of m half times 2 raised to the power of half times 2 equal to 65 now you know assuming this to be a, a number a, a, a whole number now you know the law of indices if you say m a to the power of m times n is same thing as a to the power of m bracket close to the power of m now if you do the same to this expression up here you now have 3 to the power of m all to the power of 1 over 2 all to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of m all to the power of 1 over 2 all to the power of 2 is equal to 65 now 3 to the power of m brackets open half to the power of 2 minus bracket open 2 to the power of m bracket close to the power of f a half to the power of 2 minus 65 now since a to the power n times the bracket n is something as a to the power of m n let's now use that expression 
let's use the expression with this that is inside so meaning that you now have 3 to the power of m times half will give you m all over 2 all squared minus 2 to the power of m all over 2 all squared is equal to 65 now let p be equal to 3 to the power of m all over 2 and q be equal to 2 to the power of m all over 2 now if you substitute this into the equation into this equation 3 to the power of m all over 2 bracket close to the power of 2 minus bracket open bracket open bracket open 2 to the power of m 2 to the power of m over 2 bracket close to the power of 2 is equal to 65 now substituting this into this you have p square minus q square is equal to 65 now to simplify this expression further to factorize this expression we now say p to the power of 2 that is p square plus p q minus p q minus q squared is equal to 65 now what we just added we just we added p square and also subtracted it so this the whole of this is zero because if you see p q minus p q is equal to is equal to zero so that is what we did here so now now let's now factorize this let's factorize this expression now p is common to the both to this and this so now let's factorize p now p factorizes you have p plus q now what is common here you have minus q that is common minus q is common here so you have p plus q so what is common here you have p plus q is common factorize off from p minus q so what are the factors of um, 65 so the factors of 65 here is 13 times 5 so 13 and 5 these are factors these are the only factors of 65 so now which inner implies that the one that that is p plus p since they are positive um, numbers the one that is p plus p should be the one for the larger number so p plus q is equal to 13 then p minus q is equal to 5 this is equation 1 equation 2 now adding both equation if you add the equations q will cancel out q you now have 2 p equal to 13 plus 5 is 18 so now 2 p is equal to 18 now divide both side by 2 you have p is equal to 9 and p is equal to 
and p is equal to 3 to the power of m divided by 2 which is equal to 9 so 3 to the power of m divided by 2 is equal to 9 is 3 times 3 so 3 times 3 according to the law of indices is 3 to the power of 2 now since the bases are the same you equate the exponentials if you equate the powers so the m all over 2 is equal to 2 now if you multiply if you multiply both sides by 2 you now have you cancel out these two here and m will be left out at the left hand side then 2 times 2 is 4 so you have m to be equal to 4 now that means let's verify let's verify let's verify this expression now if you say 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 what will it give now it's supposed to be 65 now 3 to the power of 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 which is 81 then 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is 16 so now 81 minus 16 is 65 so it is proved so thank you for watching if you enjoy the video please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and do well to share the video thank you